Once the disc has been accessed, insert a midline marker or caspar distractor pin into either vertebral body and confirm central location with C-arm fluoroscopy. If caspar distraction is to be used, insert second pin at this time. A complete discectomy is performed. The end plates are carefully prepared, assuring complete removal of the cartilaginous end plate and presence of bleeding bone. The trial sizer is inserted into the non-distracted disc space with C-arm fluoroscopy assistance to select the proper device height. The intent is to get the best fit and fill of the space. Device selection is made using both C-arm and tactile feedback. The selected implant is attached to the implant introducer and packed one millimeter above and below the graft cavity device surfaces to enhance graft material end plate contact. The device is gently impacted into position, taking care to not rotate the device. The implant introducer is removed and proper positioning is confirmed with C-arm fluoroscopy. If further impaction or additional positioning is necessary, the tamp is utilized. Beginning with the central screw hole, use the all guide and all to create pilot holes for the screws. The intent is to simply pierce the end plate, clear any interfering bone or soft tissue from the vertebral body and or screw hole to allow for complete seating of the all guide and screw, affording the proper screw trajectory. Insert the screws beginning with the central screw, not fully tightening until all three are positioned. Sequentially tighten screws until implant is secure. Obtain AP and lateral x-rays to confirm final position.